the Miami Dolphins hired former San Francisco 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel last week. When he was first hired, McDaniel promised to get all of the greatness out of Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. The new head coach took an important first step to doing just that, reportedly bringing in a key voice to the offensive staff, a good sign for Tungavailoa. Per ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, the Dolphins are working towards adding Daryl Bevel to be their pass game coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Bevel would bring some much-needed experience to Mike McDaniel's coaching staff, as well as a key voice for Tua Tungavailoa. As Fowler notes, Bevel has worked with legendary quarterback Brett Favre, Seattle Seahawks star Russell Wilson, and Los Angeles Rams star Matthew Stafford. If McDaniel wants to get greatness out of Tungavailoa, he's certainly going to the right guy. Tungavailoa, who threw for 2,653 yards, 16 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, was the subject of many trade rumors this season. McDaniel commended the Dolphins quarterback for his accuracy and ability to get the ball to receivers so they can run after the catch. It sounds like the new head coach is going to install an offense that plays to his quarterback strengths. Bringing in Daryl Bevel also shows that McDaniel is committed to having experienced voices around Tua Tungavailoa. Time will tell if he can get that greatness out of him, though. With those additions to the staff, I feel it speaks volumes to the intent moving forward for the Dolphins team. From an offensive free agent standpoint, the team has wide receivers, tight ends, and running backs to examine. The high priority target would be Mike Jasicki. The team needs to make a decision on as well as Mac Hollins, Preston Williams, Albert Wilson, Will Fuller as well as Durham Smythe to make decisions on. Jasicki for sure should be a high priority for the team to resign. He has consistently improved on his statistics from the previous year. With both McDaniel as well as Imbri on board for the tight ends, I can see parallels to him being used in a similar offensive role. Although there are quite a number of receivers that are free agents from the Dolphins, the likelihood of them all being resigned is minimal. Of the potential targets to resign, Preston Williams, as well as Mac Hollins, are possible likely targets to bring back to the team. Hollins emerged last season as a productive target for Tungavailoa posting career highs in yards, catches, and touchdowns. Williams has struggled to build on the momentum due to injuries as he has only played in eight games the past three seasons. Although bringing in Wes Welker to be the position coach should help the receiving group in the long run, however, it doesn't seem likely that resigning any in the group will be a priority between those available in the draft as well as free agents from other teams, Chris Godwin and Devontae Adams stand out as targets to make attempts for. Running back seems like more of a position to address through the draft to at least bolster the running back group. Miles Gaskin has proved to be a solid contributor posting career highs in rushing yards and tied his career high in touchdowns on the ground. He did post a career best in receiving touchdowns. I'll have a breakdown of running backs in the draft later.